What is up, guys? Major McCoy here, and welcome back to City Skylines. This is episode two, where uh, we've started our city. And we have a fire. Ah, uh, oh, we've got a fire. We've also got a fire station as well. Uh, we went ahead and unlocked the next zone. Um, completely by accident, we run out of electric. Oh, the city is burning to the ground. We're out of electric. We need to get on top of this, and then I can come back and we can do this intro again. So, uh, we have unlocked the next load of stuff, which is a fire department. We need our fire department like yesterday. So go ahead and put this in here. Seems like a good place for a fire station. Uh, yes, you will be happy because your place is currently burning down. Uh, we've also got a police department, which we can just put in also. We can put you there. Uh, education we didn't get in last time round because we couldn't afford it. And guess what? We still can't afford it. Uh, we've actually got not a lot of money at all. And we need more electric. So... How much is an electric turbine? It was 6,000, so... Oh. I'll hit that play button again. Um, yes, while that's playing away, we'll take a look. We did achieve the status of a worthy village. That was uh, populating, getting population up to 700. Uh, our next target is Tiny Town. We did get quite a lot unlocked on here. We've got uh, new industry specialization. Introduced policies now, which is something we'll probably go on at a later stage. I'm not really want to target just yet. Um, we've unlocked our obviously fire department, police department, and unique buildings. I'm not sure what's in here, I've not seen it. Uh, statue. Oh, right, so oh, it's, it's like landmarks and stuff. That, that's, that's cool. We can, something we can look at maybe later on. Not for now. Oh, it's actually got its own menu as well. Ah, right, so you've got to carry out different requirements, or achieve different requirements to unlock different, like, certain buildings. That's that's good, that's good. Again, it's something we can look at later on. How we doing, with fire? Where's the fire department? Is it up? We're on strike. Do we just not have any fire? This is going to be ash. It's going to be ash. Not enough electricity. Operating at a reduced rate. Oh dear. Okay then. So, uh, if we jump into our budget panel, because we are running out of deficits, quite a hefty deficit as well. Uh, one thing we can do from the budget panel is increase um, production on electricity. That or 150%, so we'll get a little bit more uh, in theory. Uh, we're still falling short, but we are actually getting a little bit more. And it looks like we've lost that building. RIP, big bite. It's alright, you've got one next door as well. Oh, that's pushing on yours. Okay, so we need to accumulate some money to get some electric. Because um, our factories are also suffering. Hmm. Not the best, not the best. Something I should have foreseen, and I didn't. Uh, should have maybe put wind turbines in other than a police station, because the police station is not necessary as of yet. Wait, it is, but it isn't. But oh, never mind, never mind. What's done's done. There's no point deleting it now. It's just going to cost more money. What I could actually do is take a look at loans. Um, oops, I don't know what I've done yet, so I don't know where to go. But let's see if I can find it. We've got this menu. Oh, that's fine. Mm, it's got to be in the budget panel, really. What I thought was the budget panel. one. Their loans, right. So, the smallest loan is at 
so I'm just gonna lose 20,000. Do I want that much? I have to pay back 21,000 at 403 um, credits per week. I'm making 700 knots, so it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. You know what it is? We're gonna do that, yeah. Well, there. Uh, Taken our loan. So we've now got 22,000. We can build in another turbine. Uh, yeah, we'll build another turbine. We'll put this one. It's, no, it doesn't seem. Yeah, it's, it seems pointless putting it there. So we're going to put a chair instead. Doesn't mean that we're going to stretch the. Electric cables further, but it's okay. It's okay. So, electric cables just connect that to that, I suppose. We'll be fine. And that is another. Actually, you know what it is? Put another one in. Just put this one there. And we'll connect that one up to our factories and then it's future proof a little bit and I can also turn the budget down. Because we were spending quite a bit on that, weren't we? So budget put that back at a hundred percent. Let's see what we're generating. Yep, our consumption is 24 megawatts and we are generating uh, 30 megawatts. So we've got a little bit of leeway. Four turbines now. What do turbines cost uh, in upkeep? 80. And that costs 560. I've achieved another milestone. We can now call us a tiny town. New services, decorations, level 2 unique buildings. Uh, we can now introduce pet barns and smoking barns and park recreation. And only one new building that's a high school. But I don't, I haven't even got a primary school yet, so. So we're going to have to look at. We've got 28,000, you obviously got a cash bonus for doing them as well. So let's put in a elementary school. It's going to cost us 10,000 to build. We've got 29 at the minute. Uh, it's going to cost 160 to upkeep. So, yeah, I don't understand why you can't put anything in them blank slots. Seems like a bit of waste of land to me, but never mind. Uh, right, we'll put this right on. Damn it, these. Yes. But there we can already occupy it. It's not the best design town, this. It's not the best design town. Okay, then. I'm going to put elementary school there, then. Put in playgrounds. Houses or trees. Business just improves the area and makes everybody happy. Cool. Uh, we look to uh, extend our town. How long till? We've got five and a half thousand uh, residents to get high density residential zones. So we've still got some way to go. We just keep pushing for that. Uh, in the meantime, let's extend our road. Let's just go. Nice big long row, I think. All down to there. See him on that side. Like that. Cool. And then we want. I'm going to do the water first, because otherwise I will forget it. It's just what I do. It's how I roll. Um, 
do one down there as well. Cost quite a bit. Uh, zoning. Residential. And there we go. All of that. Nobody's crying for anything. Nobody wants anything more just yet. 1,240 residents. Our next milestone help. What do we need? Milestone is what we want. There. We are a tiny town at the minute. Right, okay. And the next one is a boom town, which is 1,900 residents. Transport on the next one, which will be uh, good. Oh, roundabouts, new three way intersection, cloverleaf intersection. We we'll start to unlock a bit more roads on the next milestone. Uh, I did say in the last episode that we could take a look at the resource panel, might be a good idea to do that now while we're just ticking over. Uh, so we've got all these different icons here for your electricity, water, waste, uh, schooling, happiness, health, etc., etc., all the way down. But the panel I want to take a look at was this, what was it, that one there, National Resources. And this just gives you an idea of what is where. So this little yellow patch, yeah, is our fertile land uh, for farming. Uh, something we'll have to get into it later. Uh, maybe it's the next episode actually. He's got a specifically zone industrial areas, so that only certain stuff go on it. Um, which obviously we haven't done at the moment, we've just plonked a load of industry in and they're just doing what they do. Uh, all of the green, obviously trees and that, that comes under uh, forestry. Uh, ore, we don't actually have any ore in um, our current available space, but look over here, they've got a nice blue there. So some ore in there, and oil on the next. It's two plots right next door to us, which are quite oil rich. And I would tend, if we're looking at the map this way, I would probably go off to the right on the next plot. Because then we might capture a bit of that ore as well. And we can extract that for money, 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 money! Everybody loves money! And money builds a bigger city. So I think that's the route we'll probably look to go down. Jump back in the city now. I've broke it by ignoring them. <laughs> uh, okay, we're complaining about sewage for a moment there, I noticed. Sewage and electricity again. Surprise, surprise. Right, we're going to go another turbine. Just about there. Just connect that one up with that one. There we go. You guys should get more electric. It's all operating okay. Gonna make it a little bit uh, healthier profit. Just take a look at how much does that generate? It generates 40 megawatts. Downside to using the coal is it's, uh, it creates heavy pollution. Ideal at the moment. We have a fire. Is our fire department going to attend to it or? Scene, man. <laughs> hey, look at them. Little dudes. <laughs> it's a bit of a rust bucket, that. I don't, you know, I was saying about the farming, I don't know if I want to put any farming on this map, on this part of the town, because it's. Our oh, industry's right there. 
It's already polluting, so I don't know if that was going to be any good for the health. Levels of unique tokens as well. <laughs> oh god. Yeah, right, we're gonna have to put some more shops in for our guys. Let's put another road in. This one, we want it up. Yeah. Oh, happiness. The citizens are unhappy. Try placing parks or providing better city services. Citizens become unhappier when they have jobs, shop possibilities, industry needs workers, and commercial businesses need customers to thrive. Put that road in there then. Uh, we'll take the advice and we'll put in a couple of parks. What have we got? This is just a small park. It will cost us eight credits a week to maintain. A thousand to build. It's quite a bit more, but that's a small children playground. Children enjoy and relax here. Well, that might be a good idea. Farms over trees. You know what it is? I'm gonna put it in. Plonk it right there. We've got gravel paths. Our pedestrians don't walk fast and easy way, easy my cars can't go. Mm. I can put individual trees in as well, that's cool. That works. Oh, that's awesome. Is that somebody complaining about electricity? No, babies, yes, never. How are we doing on our electricity front? Borderline. It's borderline. We've got 19 grand, so we can build that. I don't even afford to build a turbine again at the minute. Okay, then, we're going to have to go to the budget panel and up our production. Let's drop 150 again just so we can. Trying thing, and everybody is having issues with sewage. Oh, is sewage an issue? But it's got no electric. So sewage is more than enough, then. So it must just literally be because um, electric keeps dropping off. We're generating enough at the moment. Put in a little bit more commercial on that side. Some house on the other. Like so we could probably deal with some more factories and roads. Creative with the roads now. <laughs> what a cave then. Yeah. 
Why won't you let us do that? You don't like that. That's not because he doesn't like it, it's because I've got no money left. <sighs> Why? Never mind, anyways, we'll call it a day here. Probably have to take it a little bit more slower. A bit slower and, uh, yeah, we're struggling for water now. is isn't ideal because I've got no bloody money. Let's take a look at our water consumption. Borderline almost getting there, so... Never mind, so we can look at the next episode anyways. And, uh, we'll call it a day on this one. Let's do a little bit of zoning on there. Industrial. Set. Anyways, guys, we'll call it a day here. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and we'll uh, we'll see you in the next one.